Hi, and welcome back to USM Updates for our March 2018 edition. I am Glenn Cummings. I'm the president of the University of Southern Maine. And fitting with our show today, we have with us the Tourism and Hospitality Program at the University of Southern Maine, who are extremely well known, as many of our programs are, for linking tightly between the community in our academic programs. With us today, we have Dr. Sarah Gezi. Uh, she is a professor of tourism and hospitality, and she has brought a couple of her students, or one former student now, Andrew Layton. Andrew uh, is a graduate of the University of Southern Maine in our program, and he now works at AAA Northern New England after having an internship there. And finally, Heather Rock. Heather is a student with us now, and also presently, has an internship with AAA Northern New England. So it's, it sounds like a great example of a partnership. We'll come back to the specifics of that in just a minute. Dr. Gezi, tell us a little bit about w when somebody says tourism and hospitality at the kind of the community college level, we get immediately like, oh, you're gonna learn how to you know, do uh, you know, basic hotel management mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, or we, you'll understand how to do even culinary arts to some extent. What does it mean at the bachelor level to be a you know bachelor degree holder in tourism and hospitality really become leaders and managers in the industry mm -hmm. um, so where they come in with those basic skill sets yep. of service um, being housekeepers we really instill in them great management leadership skills so that they can lead which, which we really need I, I can tell you we have 37 million people mm -hmm. that come into the state of Maine in one year and figuring out how to get them what they want and need in a way that they'll come back is no easy task and the industry is changing a lot can you tell us about what's going on out there in tourism and hospitality? yes it's still the biggest industry in Maine mm -hmm. um, we had almost 30 million visitors just mm -hmm. last summer wow. um, so we have a lot of issues to work with um, we do have a significant labor shortage so so our graduates are someone who can um, look to work with those issues and solve these yeah. problems. They're in demand, and so it's one thing to have the sort of the basic skills, but also seeing around corners what the future is going to look like, very important. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go to one of our alumni, uh, Andrew Layton. Uh, you are now at AAA Northern New England. Tell us about kind of the pathway you got here, because you had an internship yep. through our program, and now you actually work for that same company, which is a story we love to hear. Right. Uh, and uh, what I tell a lot of people who say, well, you know, I don't know if I can afford an internship you know, business owners will say, well, can I afford it? I say, you can't afford not to because you're going to get Andrew there, you're going to get Glenn there, you're going to get uh, Heather there in your business, and you're going to say, Heather, Andrew, they are worth it. Cummings, I would get rid of that guy fast, right? And that's a great thing to know. Who do you want as part of your team and who do you not? Tell us a little bit about your pathway from intern to, uh, to employee at AAA Northern New England. Yeah, so it was great. So I got to um, be a part of an internship group that worked directly with um, AAA Northern New England to develop a uh, cruise um, for a group of students and AAA members to Bermuda. And we kind of planned and executed that whole thing. Um, and through it, I got to learn a little bit about the company, mm -hmm. about AAA, mm -hmm. um, and I got to learn and meet some of the, the staff and agents there. Um, and so it gave me some great connections to work with. And then, and then when it was time to you know, graduate and find a job, I had a, a friendly face to email and say, hey, I'm looking, I'm interested. And then it led to employment right out of college. That is beautiful. Heather Rock, you are now uh, an intern there at, at AAA Northern New England, but you're also going to class. How is that? How does that balance between sort of being a, a student and being in the real world? Does that work well for your style of learning? It has. I've noticed um, just in the beginning weeks or months rather of my internship that I've really been able to apply what I've been learning in class yeah, to that is a the real ideal right there. Experience. Like there's actually a connection. Yeah. With you. <laughs> but it's still a constructive environment, so I'm still able to learn and grow mm -hmm. as I'm doing it. But yeah. it's really kind of putting the pieces together. That's great. That is a perfect balance. It also speaks highly to Dr. Gesley. Tell us a little bit about some of the things that you specifically want your graduates to have when they leave your program. Uh, we talked in general that we need people who can kind of mm -hmm. think in big terms, but what are some of the specific things that a business owner uh, like AAA Northern New England would really like to see in Andrew and Heather? Um, really that they have real world experience. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our partnerships, we really offer great examples of where they can take on real mm -hmm. projects yep. and do real work and work with, mm -hmm. um, put on tours, mm -hmm. um, 
Andrew worked with Holland America. Heather's going to work with Royal Caribbean. Mm -hmm. um, so they they're exposed. By the way, to can I just say? Talk about cool internships. <laughs> like you do it, you're dealing with major cruise lines. Did you guys get to go like to really cool places? Yeah. yeah. So like warm places in the winter and that kind of thing. I just want to speak to the camera. For those who are listening, <laughs> tourism and hospitality, it's a re there's a reason why it's one of the fastest growing programs at the University of Southern Maine is because your internships could include the Bahamas, the Virgin mm -hmm. Islands, Cuba, et cetera. So. Yep, and this class is going to Bermuda. So it's, um, we're going, Heather will be going Memorial Day, over mm -hmm. Memorial Day weekend. Um, Andrew went a similar mm -hmm. time. So it's, it's also working with great partners, but then they get international experience as well. And that's yeah. what we really find that employers are looking for, students that are willing to work hard, mm -hmm. have real experience, mm -hmm. Um, and that international aspect really, really mm -hmm. helps as well. Yeah, it's it, tourism and hospitality, not for sissies. I was down at the Samoset, uh, you know, earlier in the month, and my wife and I noticed that the the woman who was kind of the hostess at the at the uh, restaurant there was, you know, in the morning for breakfast, was still working at 8:30 that night. So I don't know if she had a little time off. I hope she did. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about some of your your kind of the biggest learnings, Heather Andrew biggest learnings that you've had so far about tourism and hospitality that you wouldn't have had without the program or without your experience at, at AAA Northern New England? Heather, anything that you've kind of like, wow, that's a great takeaway for me? Yeah, I've learned a lot of intricacies of the industry um, that I just had no idea <laughs> before. Um, and I work in the hospitality industry right now. And again, I'm just continuing to make links between yeah. what I'm learning in class and what I'm doing yeah. in the real world. So yeah. it's just a lot of background knowledge that Perfect. I'm gaining Perfect. around yeah. it. Yeah, it's little things that make a difference yeah. in your experience. <laughs> How about you, Andrew? Now that you're out in the in the real world, you've come out of the program, um, things that kind of every day you go or, or have, you can look back in the last mm -hmm. year or so and say, yeah, this is really new stuff or this is really helpful stuff for me to be aware of. Yeah, definitely. Um, the biggest thing for me was taking that jump from being in the classroom and you know seeing things in books and documentaries mm -hmm. and then a actually getting out into the community mm -hmm. getting involved with AAA and other internships I did as well as some of the class programs that we mm -hmm. did that were you know, like based on community engagement and just getting that real world knowledge mm -hmm. because then it really like uh, kind of set me above some other people who are graduating who maybe didn't have real world experience mm -hmm. but had a you know great education so I think it's good to have both mm -hmm. and have them in conjunction of one another to, to help you succeed. What's the most satisfying part of your job down at AAA Northern New England? Like what, what makes you feel really good at the end of the day? So, so part of my job is I, I work with clients every day and, and help plan trips for them so cruises and tours and and hotel stays, whatever it may be, and just hearing their feedback. Yeah. So when they get back from their trips, they'll call me and they'll say, Andrew, like, thanks for giving me that recommendation. I'm yeah. so glad I, yeah. I went I went this route as opposed to what I was thinking. Nice. So just kind of hearing that's, from my clients and knowing knowing that I led them in the right direction. Hey, you know, most of us don't have a lot of money, so we want our vacations to be right. just right, so that's a great sign. Dr. Sarah Gezi, thank you for your leadership in making this exciting new kind of uh, young program here at USM so popular and so effective. Uh, Andrew Layton, congratulations on your successful transition into the workforce and making us proud out there. And Heather, we wish you the best of luck uh, and we appreciate you sharing a little bit about what it's like to be a student with us uh, and have this kind of experience. So thank you to all of, all of you for being here tonight. Thank you all for watching USM Update March 2018. Again, I'm Glenn Cummings, the president of the University of Southern Maine. We have been talking about how powerful our partnerships are between our programs here at the University of Southern Maine. It is why students like to come to a place like USM. They'll not only get excellence in the classroom from places and from programs, but they'll also get superb real world experiences that will take them to all the heights that we've seen from Heather and Andrew. So thank you very much for being here and we look forward to seeing you next month.